All right, let's run a DLSS test on Red Dead Redemption 2 with 2.3.9 and 2.4.3. Wanted to show you guys real quick that I am running the game and Rockstar's launcher did not overwrite the DLL file. I'm sure a lot of my viewers play on 1440p. So I'm gonna start with the 1440p test first and then move on to 4K. As you can see here, the hair looks terrible on the 2.3.9 version there is a storm coming so the hair is waving all over the place so please ignore that it, it still looks bad pretty bad the blocky hair pixelated look on the hair on the ends is just it's terrible looking now on 2.4.3 you you think it would be fixed but it looks like it's just slightly dulled down it, it's not completely fixed it could be placebo uh, i've been going back and forth on the footage double check and making sure that the dll files are being you know installed and everything does seem to be installed correctly so it's kind of me just throwing it up in the air and saying you know what it's just how red dead redemption 2 is going to run with dlss i don't think it can improve unless you're using the dlss exposure tool that i have a video on that an awesome creator made so that improves the look of dlss by dulling down that sharpening i'll leave a link in the description to that video that i made for the dlss exposure tool and also you can see here on arthur's jacket when you're moving around it's also on the gun you'll see a dark trail on there you also still get dark trails on the birds but like i said it's not as bad on 2.4.3 it's still there it's still there now let's move on with 4k with dlss on and what you're gonna notice right away is how much better the hair looks, but I think that's just how DLSS is. Hair is gonna look better when you're running at a higher resolution with DLSS. It doesn't matter if it's 8K, 4K, anything under that, I feel like hair, like on beards and stuff, look really bad on with DLSS. My hair, it does, it does look a little bit better. I wouldn't say anything crazy, but my hair did look worse on 2.3.9. Yeah, I'm still gonna, be sticking to 4k taa for my gaming on red dead redemption 2 it just looks a lot better than me more cinematic air quotes so for my testing so far it doesn't seem like there's much of a difference between 2.3.9 and 2.4.3 but i'm getting comments from my amazing viewers that they are seeing differences on 2.4.3 some are saying that you don't need the exposure tool anymore for my testing it looks like you still you still need it if you're playing on 1440p DLSS. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you could, just leave a comment down below and let me know if you're having the same experiences as me with updating your DLSS to the latest one. Also want to welcome the new viewers to my channel and subscribers. I want to thank you guys for your support. Let's go. Let's go. You check out my latest video here somewhere here. Uh, catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.